My name is Larry Feingold. I teach um, theology and philosophy at the Catholic Seminary in St. Louis, Kenrick Lennon Seminary. I'm talking about the fruit. So after a person encounters Jesus Christ and falls in love with him, there's an initial stage of enthusiasm. And um, then the key, it seems to me, in the spiritual life is to put down stable habits that enable that enthusiasm to continue even when the initial consolations begin to dry up. What happens in the spiritual life is that God draws us with lots of consolations at first, generally, but the sun comes out, the heat of the day, and he wants us to continue without those strong consolations. And the key thing in this stage of the spiritual life is to put down habits of um, daily prayer. So that's the most important thing, that a person develop what we call a plan of life, a plan of life that will include time for the Lord every day. And it should be quality time. It should be a time that's good for you. And I pick, should pick a time that's the best for me. Um, and to make it a regular appointment, a regular appointment of encounter. And so I think that's the most important thing. And then to feed that time of prayer with a sacramental encounter as often as I can. Right? And so there's no better practice in the spiritual life than daily mass. Um, to encounter Jesus sacramentally after or along with my encountering him in prayer. Um, and then I need to combine that with study. So that would be setting aside a time um, planned through the week, better a time every day, to say read the Catechism and the Word of God. And to read the Word of God and something that unfolds the Word of God. And, and, that, those forming that kind of prayer of life, that plan of life, um, enables a person to have a continual conversion. And that then will tend to spill over onto others, which is the next stage.